All right, so it's Tuesday, which means it's time for another tutorial. And you know what? I am pretty sure I'm going to get a lot of crap for doing this one. It's Pancake Swap. And after yesterday's video about Binance Smart Chain, it was interesting just how many comments came through that were just hate. They couldn't understand why I was looking at Binance Smart Chain and people saying, how much were you paid for this? Uh, Binance is not decentralized. All of these things, they're valid points. No, I was not paid to make that video. I mean, why would you pay anyone to do a video that will get at most a thousand views? That's not really the point here. The point is maybe these protocols and these things that are being built on Binance Smart Chain don't strictly qualify as DeFi. But what they are doing is giving exposure to a bunch of people who might not otherwise test anything out or try anything out on Ethereum and giving them a taste of what it's like to do DeFi, to add liquidity, to farm, all of these kind of things. And why would we deny people the opportunity to gain that kind of exposure if they're interested in decentralization, if they want to go further? Then yes, they have what we would call more decentralized options. But if it's guiding them on a path to setting up a MetaMask wallet, to understanding what decentralization means, to understanding what farming is, what APY are, you know, these kind of things, I think that's valid. And why should we be shy about talking about this when it refocuses the conversation back onto the thing that I know is the most important thing for people, which is decentralization? Everyone's been jumping on me about this and saying that I must be a Binance shill. I'm not a Binance shill. I talk about the space. It's in the conversation and it deserves to be talked about. Now, whether we can believe what we're seeing in terms of the TVL and everything else, that's a matter for another point. And I would urge you to wait until this week's Define Weekly video to pass judgment on me. But like, yeah, like threatening to quit the channel because I talked about Binance Smart Chain. Well, it's just dumb. Sorry. So anyway, let's get on with the tutorial for this week because we are going into Pancake Swap. What it's all about, how you can interact with it, how you can start farming on it. Because yeah, that's what people have been asking for. Roll the titles. So what on earth? is PancakeSwap. Well, in their own words, PancakeSwap is a Binance smart chain based DEX launched by anonymous devs with a penchant for breakfast foods and rabbits. Sounds a little bit silly, right? But if you compare like pickles and sushi and bento, all these kinds of things, it's sort of along those vibes. And you know what the funny thing is? Like PancakeSwap really triggered the ETH community last week because briefly, PancakeSwap actually passed Uniswap in trade volume. Now, there's all sorts of different reasons why that might be. And people have been messaging me directly saying, you know what, you can't believe any of those numbers. And that might well be the case. Who knows? I'm not really a crypto forensic accountant. But, you know, the fact is, people are talking about it. It's being used. And this week in the tutorial, we're going to look at how you can get started on PancakeSwap. Now, to do this, you're going to need two things. You are going to need a MetaMask wallet, and you're also going to need some BNB tokens. Because believe it or not, in order to interact with anything that's built on Binance Smart Chain, you're going to need BNB. Who knew? Uh, same way you need Ethereum if you want to really do anything on uh, the Ethereum DeFi protocols, we're going to need some BNB. And why MetaMask? Well, MetaMask is an Ethereum wallet a browser-based wallet that allows you to interact with DeFi protocols. And I remember the first time I used it, it was like, wow, this makes it so simple just to interact with dApps or dApps, whatever you want to call them. But MetaMask was built for Ethereum, not for Binance Smart Chain. So how can we use it for Binance Smart Chain? Well, I'm going to show you. It's not completely straightforward, but it's not difficult either. Now, there is a Binance Chain wallet uh, Chrome extension, which you can also use. And that's actually quite interesting, but we'll get on to the reasons why that's interesting later on. So here's PancakeSwap, and it's sort of kind of, I mean, it basically is a Uniswap clone. And you've got collectibles, you've got a lottery, you've got farms, you can trade all the usual stuff. But the first thing we're going to do is set up MetaMask. Now, I've already got the MetaMask extension uh, here, and if we look at the networks up here, you'll see Ethereum mainnet, Robson test network, RinkB, uh, but no Binance chain. So actually what we need to do is tell MetaMask to look for that network. And actually it's surprisingly straightforward. <clears throat> now there is a 
good article on the Binance Academy where they explain exactly how to connect MetaMask to Binance Smart Chain. We'll leave a link for that in the description below. Uh, but it's very, very simple. And what we need to do is go down to the MetaMask drop down here and we're going to set up a custom RPC. Now, the problem with MetaMask is that if you click away from it, anything that you're doing in MetaMask is then lost. So you might have had this situation where you're doing a transaction and you want to check an address, you click away and then suddenly everything that you were doing is gone. I know it's a safety feature, but it can be a little bit annoying. So what we want to do here is we want to copy this mainnet RPC URL. I'm just going to copy that. And then everything else is actually quite straightforward. Um, so we're going to put that into this custom RPC here. I'm going to call it smart chain, the new RPC URL. Then the chain ID is 56. The currency symbol is BNB. And the block explorer, which we can type in HTTPS colon blah, 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 blah. BSE scan dot com. Then we save it. And now when we go down the list, we can see smart chain. So now we know that we have a smart chain wallet and here we go. Okay, so now if we look at our MetaMask, you will see that we are connected to the smart chain. But if we look at our ETH address, it's the same. And we know that we're actually connected. If we look at the account details, that is my ETH address, 100%. And I can view account at bscscan.com and there it is. So we're looking at the Binance Smart Chain, but that is the same address I would use for interacting with the Ethereum blockchain. Pretty smart. So now we know that we're definitely working with, now we know that we're definitely working with Binance Smart Chain. Next thing we need to do is go and get some BNB. And I will do this by going to Binance. Oh my gosh, look at the market today. Big red candles everywhere. What a great time to be buying BNB. So I'm gonna buy some BNB here. I'm just gonna buy like, I don't know, 213, whatever. So we're just gonna do that now, bush, and I will have bought some BNB. And just like that, I have bought some BNB. Very exciting. And what I need to do now is withdraw it from the exchange to my wallet. So I'm gonna copy my wallet address and go to withdraw my BNB. What have I got here? Like one BNB. And if you see here, you will see there are options for Binance Chain, which is BNB, and the Binance Smart Chain, which is BSC. And we're going to select that. And it says, safety reminder, to ensure your withdrawal request is accepted, please complete these three questions. Have you confirmed that the app platform or application you're withdrawing to supports the BSC network? Yes. Next, if you withdraw your assets via the BSC network to an address in the destination platform or application that only supports the ETH network token, you will lose your assets. No, my assets will not be lost. They will appear on the same address on both networks. That's what we just looked at. Same address, both networks. Very convenient. Yes, I understand this. Are you familiar with the Binance Smart Chain BSC network? Yes, I am. I'm doing a bloody tutorial about it, aren't I? And I have passed the quiz. So I'm going to... Select the max. I'm going to put in my ETH address. Now, there is just one thing here, which is if you're in Binance US, it's possible you won't be able to withdraw to the Binance Smart Chain. Now, it's possible they've actually set that up now, but if you can't, there is a very handy Binance Chain wallet extension for Google Chrome. And that basically acts as a wallet for both BNB and BSC. And within that wallet, you can do cross-chain swaps and just swap your BNB from... BNB chain to BSC smart chain. And that is the door. I'm back. Uh, there's someone on the door dropping off a new computer. So within the Binance chain wallet, you can do cross-chain swaps. It's very easy to do from BNB to BSC, and then you're basically good to go. So now I'm going to just uh, complete that transaction. <clears throat> Get my funds out of there and do the usual malarkey, and then just by the magic of editing, bush. Okay, so now we have the BNB in our MetaMask. Let's just check that it's there. And yes, there it is. We're still on the smart chain, and I now have one BNB in my account. So it's time to do some farming. Well, the minimal amount of farming I can do with this. And if I'm looking at the PancakeSwap front page here, wow, you can earn up to 800% 
in farms. Now, why wouldn't you want to get 800%? Sounds sexy, right? So what we are going to do is we're going to go to the trade page, the exchange page, and we're going to exchange for Cake, which is the LP reward token offered by Pancake Swap. So we're going to swap from one BNB to Cake. We put, select Cake from the drop-down menu, or you can just type it in. Works exactly like Uniswap. And then we have to unlock the wallet. We can unlock MetaMask. And yes, we want to do that. Usual steps for doing that. And now we're unlocked and we can actually perform the swap. Simple enough. Confirm swap. I'm just looking at the liquidity provider fee, 0 0.002 BNB. That is not very much. Okay. And yeah, that all looks good. Confirm. Transaction submitted. Let's see how long this takes. I can view it on BSC scan. At least not yet. Anyway, it's amazing how much of this looks exactly like Etherscan. They really did just copy everything. <sighs> open finance, open source. Don't you love it? Okay, well, that was it. Done. So I now have... Uh, 18.2964 cake and now it basically means that I can you know have a look at the other options here and see what I might want to do like there's LP token I can stake LP tokens to earn more cake I can let's have a look at the farms all the pools yeah so if I look at the pools here like just for staking cake I can earn 144% APR on that. Looking down, there's Berry and there's... What's the best one right now? Now you're looking at... That's some big numbers. 136 in lit. Get lit! If you've seen Suits, you know what I'm talking about. That is... Yeah, those are some serious numbers. The, I, the thing is, I understand if you're a trader and you just are hunting down the best gains... This makes a lot of sense because, I mean, if you're paying $500, $600 a time to use, you know, something on, on that's built on Ethereum, makes sense. I'm not supporting this. But anyway, let's look at Cake. I got to unlock my wallet. So simple, this stuff. And we are connected. And now I can approve Cake. So I can now start staking my 18 Cake. The transaction fee, 15 cents. You know what? I don't mind paying 15 cents. And coming back to this point about Ethereum, like Ethereum is really, really expensive at the moment. And for me, I'm, I'm not a power user, but like I understand how this stuff works. And I don't mind trying things out and spending a little bit of money to do so. Because for me, like learning about this stuff and learning what's out there and being able to do it very quickly and easily is, is good. I don't mind spending 15 cents to just try this stuff out, to have a look and see what's there, how smooth it is, how quick it is, how cheap it is. But like when it's 150, like last week's tutorial was just crazy. It's completely crazy. And like, I don't, I spent like 550 bucks just doing a tutorial for one AVA token. I mean, it's completely asymmetrical, but you see the point. And we're going to confirm that. And now, yeah, now I'm in. So I'm, I'm staking a pitiful amount of cake to earn more cake. And you know what? I'm just going to leave it there and see what happens. You know, um, why not? Now, these things do swing around and upside down and everything else, but you know, I'm happy to give things a try. And if they work out, they work out. If they don't work out, they don't work out. And I, like I keep saying, keep an open mind. Don't just jump on this thing and say decentralized or not decentralized. We shouldn't bother with it. There are lessons to be learned from all of these things. And there's experimentation everywhere. And like I said, if we can encourage people to just take their first steps with a platform that, yes, may not be decentralized, but allows them to at least try this out and get comfortable with it, then I think that's okay. But... I'm fully expecting people in the comments to say, no, it's not. But you know what? If you did like this video, drop us a like. If you didn't like the video, well, that's also fine. It helps us understand what content is working for you. And subscribe to the channel. We are going to do a full deep dive on Binance and Binance's DeFi mission later on this week. And yeah, 
hit that bell so you can be informed as soon as the next good stuff drops. Until next time, yeah, be safe out there. <laughs>